AI is so well matched with embedded use cases. Why? Because you do most of the work at the training time. So you can train offline a model, use humongous amounts of compute, terabytes of data, and get a model on the other side. That model can be arbitrarily large and small. When it's time to run inference, you need a relatively smaller amount of compute to actually run the model and get the output. And so that's really well matched to embedded because we can train during development a model using a ton of compute on the in the cloud or offline, and then we can deploy it to arbitrarily small embedded devices and get them to do useful work. And so you're starting to see more and more Mac controllers that are optimized to run these kinds of workloads. I was just meeting with our partners at ST. They, they released the STM32 N6, which has a little neural network IP, which can run these models. Uh, but they're certainly not the only one. There, there are many of them. So I think that in use cases where you're taking sensor data, you're processing to some extent and trying to do something intelligent with it, this is going to spread like wildfire. And in fact, we already see some of our customers deploying AI at the edge and more and more of them every year. So I think that this is already, this is here to stay. And as an embedded software engineer, you probably ought to become more familiar with these, these methods.